for me, I think the biggest thing that football taught me was how to overcome adversity. At some point in your life, you're going to have some tough times. You have to have that next play mentality. That cohesiveness and that working together, that's really something special that you can't get in a lot of other areas. When you practice that and you live that in other phases of your life, it, it, it becomes second nature because all you know how to do is fight. It's not an easy game. If it were easy, everyone would do it. You start to appreciate the, the smaller contributions that people make. You don't just look at the big one because you knew it took six or seven other guys who are unsung. And, uh, you know, you, you can't take shortcuts and be successful. Doing what they do to make it possible for the guy getting the press clippings or whatever it might be. In this game, whether it's as a coach or a player. So, um, I would certainly say that, um, you know, you definitely got uh, a very quick lesson in how to overcome adversity playing football. GameFlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our preview of the 2016 Boca Raton Bowl between the Memphis Tigers and the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. And we're going to start this video off by taking a look at some keys to victory. Let's start with Memphis in this ball game. First off, they have to make Western Kentucky one-dimensional. When you're facing an explosive offense like the Hilltoppers bring to the table, they can throw the football as well as they can run the football. You have to find what you're best at. I think they're better at taking away a team's passing offense and getting pressure on the quarterback. So you want to make Western Kentucky one-dimensional. That bodes well for their chances. Also, offensively, it's about controlling the tempo and the pace of the game. They could speed it up to slow it down as long as they're dictating the terms. I think Think Memphis has the same type of offense that Western Kentucky possesses, so it's, it'll behoove them to make sure they stay on the field by controlling the tempo and the pace of this game. And points add up. Whether or not you get seven or three, you're going to need a lot of points, at least 35, to win this ball game against the Hilltopper. So, again, don't be upset. If you can't get seven, get three, and they'll add up eventually, and that'll help you win the game. And for Western Kentucky in this ball game, it's four quarters of focus. I think Western Kentucky does a great job of getting out in front early, but at times they tend to lose interest in the ball game, and that's where teams start to come back, and that's when they make it a shootout. If they can continue to be focused for four quarters, this is a very tough football team to beat, and that defensive line has to excel. They have to also make Memphis one dimension. I think they can go in and stop the run and force Memphis to throw the football because I think that plays right to the hands of what Western Kentucky does well. And they have to win the special teams battle. When you look at Western Kentucky, you're looking at a football team that excels not only in the kickoff return department with Kylan Towner, who has a touchdown on a return already and averages 40.8 yards of return, but also in the punt return department with Nakarius Fan, who also has two punt return touchdowns on the season. So if they can win that third aspect of the game, it bodes well for their chance. Chances. The biggest X factor in this game for the Memphis Tigers will be the play of linebacker Jannard Avery. I'm a big fan of his game and what he brings to the table from a run stopping standpoint. He has 10 and a half TFLs on the season, does a great job also in pressuring the quarterback. But how well will he do versus a running game, in my opinion, could ultimately determine how well the Memphis Tigers do defensively. This has been a defense that has struggled versus teams that can run the football all season long. And if they can stop the run and, again, make Western Kentucky one-dimensional, they can definitely win this ball game. The biggest X factor for the Hilltoppers in this game will be the play of their offensive line. They have a tremendous talent at left tackle and Florence Lamp, a guy that's going to the senior bowl, does a great job on both ends of offense. And you look at an offensive line that has done a great job all season long and has only given up 16 sacks on the year. But how well they can deal with this pressure that they're going to see, this exotic pressure they're going to see from Memphis, will ultimately determine how well they do on offense. Again, it's about getting their running game going and also protecting the quarterback, Mike White, back there in the pocket. If they can do that behind this offensive line, they should have a great chance to come away victorious. Now let's look at some of the 2017 draft prospects that you want to keep an eye on in this ball game. I am a big fan of Donald Pennington, the defensive tackle for Memphis, 6'2", 295. He's going to have a big day in this in this matchup, in my opinion. I think if he can do well, 
then that defense will do well also. But I like how he plays the game. And you look at Western Kentucky, Taiwan Taylor, Taiwan Taylor, I'm sorry, six feet, 195, probably one of the most explosive receivers in college football. And don't sleep on Anthony Wells, the tailback. He may not be the fastest, but this guy is constantly gaining yards, constantly falling forward, and is constantly finding his way into the end zone. I like Western Kentucky in this ball game. This is a very good and dangerous football team. Offensively speaking, they can run the football exceptionally well. We know about Taewon Taylor and how well they can throw the football vertically down the field. And defensively, I think they match up extremely well with the Memphis Tigers. And Memphis has struggled versus teams, like I've said before, that can run the football all season long. Western Kentucky doesn't mind lining up and running the football downhill if their passing game is having an off date. So because of their balance and their ability to do both because of their offensive line, I like the Hilltoppers to win this one over Memphis.